All right, so to, the, to, the trick I'm going to play on you today involves this little treasure chest. The treasure chest has money in it. If you can open this treasure chest, you can have the money. But you can't shake it, you can't drop it, you can't break it. All you have to do is slide it open very simply. Now, I need a volunteer oh, to come and try this. I do, I do. Okay, Scotty, come on up and try to open this. You don't need to move those red bands. Face the camera, Scotty. Face us. Can't see it. <laughs> oh, I remember. <laughs> oh, you've seen this before. Yeah. It should be like. Cheater. But I did it. I can't do it. Right now. Okay, Lindsay, come on up. Huh? Time's up, Scotty. No. Give Lindsay a shot. Okay. Right here, Lindsay. Slide it open. You, you, have to, you have to slide it open. Doesn't take much force. How much is it inside? No way. Well, it used to be an American <laughs> dollar, but someone cheated and they poked a pencil in there. And Got it open. So right now, right since, since I ran out of American dollars, it's just a fake bill. Okay. I will. Yeah. One more time. One more time? How did I do that? Okay, since I'm not a magician, I'm a mathist, I'm going to show you how it works. You have to grab the treasure chest at opposite corners. And if, if you zoom in on that, you can see there's a little tab here. And there's a tab there. If you don't grab it on opposite corners, it won't open. And who's going to think of that? You're probably just going to think about you know, doing something like this. You've got to grab it at opposite corners. Yeah, I just tried that one. How come? How come? Well, because there's a little tab there that you hold on to. The purpose of the red band is to conceal the boundary between the tab and the rest of the case. So you don't see that that's a little tab. But that's what you've got to do. So I get to keep the fake money. Thank you, Dong Jun.